Yo, what is up everybody? Who's up for a little draft and who's up for a big decision in round one? This is so tough. You can't go wrong with any of these picks, but in the first round already, we're being asked, how do we build our team? A great tight end, offensive line, top running back, and you know... I actually want Le'Veon Bell here. I know Le'Veon Bell would be the popular pick, but I don't know. I just want to try Le'Veon Bell and see how he would do. But now we got to build Le'Veon Bell an offensive line. But we pass on Vollmer and take Jimmy Graham. We get a tight end. You see Bobby Wagner. That was a quick pick as we get Marcus Mariota in the seventh round. Eight round Jamie Collins comes up. We're building up that linebacking core to elites there already. Round nine, this is a tough decision. Do we take the free safety or do we get our first cornerback of the draft despite Leon Hall's height being 5'11"? We take Leon Hall. We need someone on the defensive line, so I'm looking at Haloti Nada here. We already have, you know, great middle linebackers, so we take Nada. Round 13, we got to build that offensive line, but we already have a center. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Marquise Pouncey, and we're going to move one of those guys to a guard position. So we take Antonio Gates in round 14. In the legend round, we're going to go Ty Law. Build up those cornerbacks. Try to help out the secondary a little bit. Get a legend like Law. And as you guys see, we're jumping straight to the championship game here. Because the first few games, they weren't really too close. We're not going to show that. We're going straight to the championship game and see how we do. As you guys saw, my opponent has Herman Moore. And the one thing about our offense, before we get to that Herman moore Ty Law matchup, is... The strong side of our offensive line is the left side, as you see Le'Veon Bell using that to his advantage, hitting up back juke before finally being brought down big game early on. So what we're going to do is run to the left side. That's what's gotten us to the championship game, so that's what I'm going to continue to do. Theo Reddick comes in, and Theo Reddick's got some room, and there he goes, Reddick ahead of the pack. Theo going and gone. A little bit of lag, but that still won't prevent this nice touchdown run, and um... Jimmy Graham actually picked up a nice block in that play, believe it or not. He's more of a receiving tight end, but he made a nice block to help propel the touchdown run. And we're up 7-0 just like that. And look at this first play of the game. He goes straight at Ty Law or Herman Moore. That's a catch. Next play calls. Hurry up. We send the blitz. He's going deep, and he has Herman Moore wide open. Ty Law absolutely fails. We put... Press man coverage, Ty Law versus Herman Moore. See how that would go. Herman Moore's got, like, what, 98 release. So, Ty Law had his hands full right there. And that's man 16. It's going to be hard to go one-on-one, -on -one, even with the legend, as we slice that pass in there for Dominic Hicks. And a little bit late on the read, on the run. But Mariota able to fire it in, nonetheless. Second down three, once again, a little bit of lag, trying to get the first. And Le'Veon Bell's got it. And we had a lot more there, but I couldn't stay in bounds. I didn't think that other guy would dive. So, I kind of, you know, ran a little bit out of bounds. They're kind of messed up, so... As you guys see, we're just continuing to run it to this left side, abusing the run game. You see, maybe a little bit too much patience. Probably didn't need to do that little back juke. Now it's third down nine because of that. We're forced to come out passing, and we are forced to the ground by Khalil Mack. Keep an eye number 52 throughout this game because Khalil Mack was absolutely wrecking the offensive game plan as we get a sack of our own by Jamie Collins on the pass rush. We have a decent line. We have Collins. I believe we have Dunlap. We almost got a pick on second down right there. We got to try to stop Herman more on third down because he know he's looking to get him Herman Moore going deep and Herman Moore's got it but it's out of bounds Ty Law has his hands full right now so fourth down he's going for it for whatever reason so I'm gonna try to double cover but it doesn't matter Herman Moore still comes up with the catch this is unbelievable and you know he's going to this play Herman Moore why not so once again I'm helping with the safety we poke the ball loose and we get the pick with the safety Bakari Rambo that's definitely good safety help right there. And now we're running a screen pass to Lee or Theo Reddick, actually. And Reddick's got some open field to work with. A little whoop. But the safety is able to stay disciplined and get the tackle right for the two-minute warning. You see Mariota having a decent game. Le'Veon Bell, not so much. Just got absolutely blown up by Mack. Next play, hitting a little corner out to Dominic Hickson, who's getting his fair share of touches right now and moving the chains for a first down. I absolutely want to run this ball as much as I can with this team. We have some passing weapons, but... um. We have Robert Woods. We obviously have Jimmy Graham. I want to get Le'Veon Bell a lot of touches. So now, thanks to Le'Veon Bell's third down and three. Nice little third down and short to convert. But we go down to the ground. Immediate sack by Nadama Kung Su. And the weak side of our offensive line, the right side. And that's the side that gave up the touch or um, the sack. As he, in his own end zone, runs a screenplay with 24 seconds left. We could be a little bit aggressive and call a timeout. Try to force the issue. But I'm not trying to do that because of Herman Moore. Ah, oh, but Gary Ramble should have had that pick right 
right there. I mean, I would try to call a timeout, try to force him into a situation where he gets sacked for a safety like we're trying to do right now as he hits Herman Moore and gets a little bit fancy and eventually goes out of bounds. But, you know, you can't risk calling that timeout and then Moore gets a 50-yard pass and all of a sudden he's threatening to get a field goal or touchdown. So, we're going to take a tie game going into half and, you know, just continue to watch 84. But, he gets the catch in the corner right there and Leon Hall hits the ground and Herman Moore might have had a touchdown, but he jumps in the air and that allows Trey Boston to come up with the tackle. I like our secondary, but if all he's doing is bombing deep, you know, we got a little bit of a problem. But now at the start of his third quarter, he's starting to, you know, actually make reads, starting to run plays besides Verts, and he's getting them. And he's still hitting Herman more, but he's, you know, actually running plays. Now he's trying to run the ball a little bit here, and he runs the ball for about a gain of four yards. Nice play. Next play comes out passing. Pressure on the quarterback, and he throws it and gets intercepted. Trey Boston, the second year free safety with the pick for the Panthers. Le'Veon Bell still getting stuff. Khalil Max still blowing up play. Second down and 12 in our own end zone. Threatening to, you know, give up a safety. Instead, Le'Veon Bell gets crushed. Trying to get that first down. That's going to bring up a third down and three near the end of the third quarter. Le'Veon Bell gets put down by Khalil Mack. And on fourth and four, we're going for it. He sends the blitz. And we are able to convert to Robert Woods for the first down. Definitely a questionable play call right there. But it did work as, you know, we come out here. Antonio Gates. I actually, actually have Antonio Gates at the fullback position. I don't know why. I would just... I keep on forgetting to change that roster before the game because they put Antonio Gates at a fullback rather than a receiving position or like a second tight end. As you see, we get a nice run there on Le'Veon Bell. That's going to bring up second down in inches. And I try to pitch the ball, but once again, Mac blowing up the play and Le'Veon Bell is going to lose a lot of yards here. That's a loss of seven. Now it's third and eight because of that two-minute warning hits. Trying to keep the drive alive, and we do. Khalil Mack was coming for us, but we hit Wilson for a key first down. Mariota is lighting it up this game, doing what he needs to do, but Le'Veon Bell on first down, no running lanes, we have to call a timeout, we have to try to get a field goal here, because it is a tie game, and that might have just kicked us out of field goal range with 30 seconds left, Le'Veon Bell getting the catch, trying to stay in bounds, but gets put out at the 34 yard line, still borderline field goal range, third down and eight, 20 seconds left, Theo Riddick getting some yards, safe play call, but it gets us closer to field goal range, and it makes him burn a timeout, this is for the lead, it's up, and it's good. Billy Cundiff gives us the lead with 20 seconds left. Had some leg to spare right there. Very conservative play calling, but what we have right now is just defense. We just got to play a little bit defense. Guard Herman Moore, and we should be good. And look at Moore. He's got a step on Ty Law, but the quarterback overthrows him. Tannehill with a missed opportunity. I don't know how it happened, but next play, he's going back for more in triple coverage. But that's not going to work. Bakari Rambo with his second pick, and that one is going to end the game. We squeak out a win, 10-7, to thanks to a nice long drive produced by Marcus Mariota. A game-winning drive by Mariota, and that'll give us the victory. So leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Band 16 Draft Champions, Ultimate Team, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys next time.